Assalamualaikum and good day. Welcome back to Campus Cuisine. I'm your host, Hasmi Zamhasan. And with us today is Chef No Adlina Muhammad. Hello. And she's from Polytechnic Tuan Kusat Surajuddin. How are you, Chef? Great. I'm feeling well. All right. I can see that. So, uh, can you tell us about yourself? About myself? Yeah. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Nur Adlina Binti Muhammad. I'm the uh, lecturer of Hotel and Catering Unit okay. from Hospitality and Tourism and Hospitality Department, Department Polytechnic Tuan Kusat Surajuddin. Okay. How long have you been here? Uh, I've been here since 2004, 2004. until present, mm. uh, which means I, I think it's about 12, 12, years. Years. 12 years. Yes. Okay. Right. So, uh, without further delay, uh, so I can see lots of ingredients here. So, what are we going to do today? Okay. Today, we're going to prepare um, a dessert, which means uh, today we are, I'm going to demonstrate about the Club 40 tart. Club 40 One tart. of the uh, traditional French dessert. Oh, of French. All right. Uh, mm. So, uh, means of, the meanings of clafote is uh, a big, a big berries okay. uh, mixed with the custard fillings. Custard filling. Uh, and the custard filling is uh, similar to the um, pancake recipe. Right. All right. Okay. Can we start? Yes. Sure. All right. So we have two groups of ingredients mm -hmm. uh, here. So the first is for the sweet paste, and the second one is the custard. For the Cust custard, filling. custard filling. So for the sweet paste, I have 250 grams soft flour, soft flour. 125 grams butter, butter. 60 grams uh, caster sugar, caster sugar. 2 numbers of egg yolk, egg yolk. 2 tablespoons uh, ice, ice water, water, 1 teaspoon vanilla essence, okay, so and for, for the, the filling. custard filling, I have 2 numbers of whole eggs, whole eggs. Two numbers of egg yolk, okay. 20 grams uh, soft flour, soft flour, one teaspoon uh, vanilla essence, vanilla essence, uh, one, 170 grams um, non dairy creams, non dairy cream, um, and one to 125 gram caster sugar. Caster sugar. And here I have three types of fruits. Right. Uh, so we have here uh, raspberry, raspberry. Uh, sorry, blackberry. Oh, blackberry. Okay. Um, Strawberry, Strawberry and raspberry. raspberry. And we also have uh, for garnishings, I uh, use uh -huh. snow powder and maraschino cherries. Maraschino cherries. All right. Okay. So we're gonna do this first, right? Okay. First, we going we will do the uh, sweet paste. Mm -hmm. So the first is uh, I'm going to mix the butter and sugar. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Method is we will. We will use as a rub in method. Oh, this is called a rub in method. Uh, after this. Oh, after this. Uh, we have to creaming the the sugar and butter first oh, until it's okay. uh, mix it well first. Yes. Until it mix. Okay. Until it mix and it's creamy. So. I think that we should have a, a, a lots of energy to do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because you're doing traditional way. Yeah? Yes. You're supposed to use the the mixing yeah, mixer, the, the mixer. mixer. But that's okay. Okay, we'll go back it's just to a bit. Today. It's just a bit of uh, ingredients, so no harms. Right. <laughs> okay, then I think it turns to a little bit uh, white. Mm -hmm. Then we put on. Okay, the egg yolk. The egg yolk. Together with the vanilla essence. essence. Okay. okay. And stir it again. Stir it again. And lastly, we put it the flour. The flour. Okay, today I'm use the soft flour because uh, the soft flour is um, low, pro low protein. Low so protein. it's good for um, pastry products such as uh, tarts. Cookies ah, and cakes. Ah, I see. Okay, I put two numbers of cold water. Huh? 
So why why do we use the cold water? Okay, this is the tips here. I'm using the cold water to make the 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 the, the, the tuck shell is crunchy oh, and crispiness. Okay. So that's the okay. tip. Using uh, cold water. All right. So we stir first. Okay. So now I will going to do the rub in method, mm -hmm. which is I I'm, I'm going to use my hand. Mm -hmm. But please make sure you wash your hand first, huh? Of course, the nails. Okay. Okay. Put it here. called rub in method. It's traditional as well, is it? The rub in method? Yes. Until it comes a dough. It becomes a dough, eh? Hmm, chef. I think the dough looks ready. Yes, it's ready to to ro roll up. Okay. okay. So we put on the uh, marble slab oh. and I'm going to use a the roller. The roller pin. All right. Um, we, we don't have to pour any flour. No need because. No need, eh? Okay, then we put on. Oh, because we have. Wow, well, we have this. The mold. And then we have to adjust. Yes, not too thin and not too thick. Okay. Okay. So this is basically like a crust, right? Yeah. Even well, the paste smells good. Okay, we have to do very. <laughs> Us. Right. To be slowly, right? Smoothly, slowly. And make sure the dough is not there. Mm -hmm. What about the air holes? Is no need okay? because uh, we're going to use the the um, liquid. Oh. So if we make the the holes, so the liquid will uh, spread around. Yeah. Okay, so the excess dough, we can use it, we can cut the edge by using the... Oh, using a knife, a huh? small knife. Uh, small knife, a sharp knife. Again. So this is what we call art. The patience of the chef. Mm, yeah. The patience of the pastry chef have to do it in passionate. Okay. okay. Oh. Today I'm use the the big size of the Mole. The mole, right? Oh, this yeah. is the biggest. If uh, you come up with that. Yeah. If we use the the small one, mm -hmm. uh, with the recipe, we can have about 20... Uh, oh, 20... 20 uh, numbers of 20 tart. Numbers of tart yes. right? Okay. There you are. Mm. The tart shell. And no need to bake first because we need to prepare the custard and we pour it and we have to bake together. Together, oh, yes. okay. But I... for the um, example, <coughs> for the cheese tart, we have to bake first. Right. Yes, okay. Okay, okay. All right. So, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the, 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 the process is not that complicated, right? Yeah. So, just put everything in, prepare this space, put the fillings, and then go straight to the oven. Yes, absolutely. Oh. absolutely. So, now the tart shell is ready. So we're going to go next to the, the preparing custard. the filling, right? Yes. The custard filling. So now we're going to prepare the custard filling. So this method is all-in method. Oh, they call it all-in method. Okay, I put the whole eggs. Mm -hmm. 
two uh, two whole eggs. No? Yeah, two whole. Two egg yolks. Two egg yolks. Okay. Vanilla essence. Vanilla essence. The sugar, caster sugar. The flour. soft flour. The function uh, of the soft flour is to thicken the the batter. Oh, okay. Then I put in last one. I put in uh, the non dairy whipping cream. Non dairy whipping cream. Okay. Uh, for this non dairy whipping cream, can can we buy it at the shop or we have to prepare prepare it? No. Uh, we just buy at the shop. The best, the baker's shop. Uh, there's a lot of a brand, uh -huh. so you can have what what kind of brand that you like. Right, and the price also will be different, right? Different brand, different yes. price. Yes, a bit, a little bit difference. Yeah, yeah. Range, so I stir it. Smells good. Just can't wait for the moment when they put in the uh, berries. Okay, I think the batter is ready. Okay. okay. Uh, for me, it's uh, very uh, easy and simple to to, to prepare. prepare. Okay, I put side. Then uh, with the top shell, we rearrange the. I think I put it here. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's better. Okay, I put the audience can see. Okay, so this one is the uh, raspberry. Raspberry. So no need to, I mean, uh, to use uh, certain patterns or what? Right? No, no. Uh, based on your creativity. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or oh, the syrup also. You can put Just put a little bit to give a color. To the tarts filling. Right. Then we put the strawberry. Strawberry. It's just like uh, preparing a pizza, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, and the last one we add in blackberry. the blackberry. So uh, I'm I'm using the frozen because um, we don't have the blackberry here. Oh yeah, yeah, the fresh so, blackberries. Right. So uh, uh, I know, uh, I know. We have to find the the frozen one, and uh, normally uh, at the baker shop they, they have it. They huh? have it. Okay. Wow. Then the last one. We the last step is putting the. Yes. We pour in the custard. Wow. The color, the color. Creamy color. Creamy smell. Red color. The red color the from the berries. Color. Don't put over the the edge of the uh, of the mold, the mold. Right? right right yeah 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 all right so basically this uh, mixture w wouldn't uh, end up like bread right yes it wouldn't no. end up like bread huh? okay. okay our tart is ready ready to go to the oven to go yes to go to the oven mm -hmm. we'll be bake for 45 minutes 45 minutes uh in and 180 degrees Degree Celsius. Celsius. 45 minutes, 180 degrees. Alright. So I'll see you later. So ladies and gentlemen, the clafote tart is ready. So 180 degrees, 45 minutes in the oven, and then uh, the cooling process. So here it is. So chef, Okay. Maybe you want to proceed with the garnishing? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to bring it up from the... Oh, 
Okay. Wow, it looks. It looks. It looks uh, easy, right? <laughs> okay. We use the cutting. All right. So this is the, 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 the basis of the mold, right? Yeah. But if we want to do the touch, it's better to use the, the uh, this kinds of mold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's okay. easy, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Alright. Then I'm going to transfer into the are you going to flip it or just... Uh, I'm flipping. Okay. Oh, it is quite hard. Eh? The, the crust. Oh, All right. right. Okay. Uh -huh. Voila. It's ready. You want me to cut it? Hey, sure. Okay. <laughs> but before that, you can garnish it first. Okay, right? I garnish it first. Yeah, for the camera. So, I'm... <laughs> I'm using the snow powder. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just a little bit of it, right? Oh yeah, that's it looks delicious. Okay. Okay, for the size of cutting, it depends on you. Mm -hmm. How how many uh, guests do you have? Yes, how many slices we yeah. want to have, right? This tart is very um, suitable to eat during uh, high tea, tea, high tea, tea time. Tea time, right? So I think that after this, you can do it by your own. Oh yes, surely. It's not that um, yes. hard actually hard, to yes. prepare this. As long as we have all the ingredients, we have the oven and we have the mold. I think it should be okay. So uh, I show how to cut. This is I cut into three. Right. This is I cut into two. two. Okay. Okay. So this one. And then we so put I the berries make... later on, right? Yes. So I cut into three again. Mm -hmm. Cut into two. Two. So uh, oh yeah, we are done with the cutting. Okay. So now... we're going to serve it. For individual serving. Okay. It's a plate. All right. Okay. Plate. And I need the high silver. Okay. Uh, take one piece All right. on the plate. I think I'm going to sprinkle it with the oh, some more. snow powder some more. Yeah. Okay. Oh, As nice. a add on the plates. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we finish it with maracino cherries. Maracino cherries. Maracino cherries. Then, there you are. Oh. The clafoti tart. Hi, welcome back to Campus Cuisine. With me here today is the head of Department of General Studies, Mortani Tonko Sets Rajudin, Puan Azlida Ahmad. Hello, Puan. Welcome to our program. So, uh, before we start eating, I just would like to uh, introduce to you the chef who is responsible for this dish, uh, Chef Adelina Muhammad. Hi, Puan. Hi. Okay. So, Hi. Chef, can you explain to us? Okay. So, uh, for today, uh, I have prepared Kraftu uh, Titat, one of the uh, national French dessert. Mm -hmm. I hope you like it, Puan. So, shall we give it a try? Mm -hmm. Alright, so there you go. You have a very nice coffee. 